What is good you guys? Today is another great day to do a tutorial and today I am going to do a tutorial on how to sample in the MPC using the warp function the easy way. I've seen a lot of videos doing this and it seems like it just takes forever for them to show you how to do this. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do this the quick and easy way. Now I'm not going to do uh, the type of sampling where um, you chop up the samples and you assign it to the pads. No, I'm doing it the way a lot of these young producers are doing it where they're just importing the audio and they're syncing it up so that when they change the tempo, the sample changes tempo and you can pitch it and do all that good stuff just like that. No old school chopping. I'll do another video for that later on. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay, we are in our MPC 2.0 software and I'm going to show you how to sample very easily using this. So the first thing when we pull up our software, we're going to be in the MIDI part right here. What we need to do is we need to go to audio and we need to select a sample. I like that sample there, so I'm going to actually swing it in. Sample sounds good. I'm going to swing it in. As you can see, it has a little piece right there. Let's go ahead and trim that down. All right. Let's trim that down. And then as you can see, the sample is 83 beats per minute. So we need to go in here and change this to 83 beats per minute. So this is how it sounds. <laughs> Sounds good. So let's go ahead and add a warp to that. And we need to put this to 83 beats per minute. So the big thing that you want to make sure is that this equals to this. Just make sure that this BPM matches this BPM. So we play it now. Sounds cool. So let's stretch this out to four bars. And then the good thing about the MPC software is now we can pitch this down if we want to. So let's pitch this down by like four. We can pitch it up. So it's very good if you have multiple samples from different sources, you can match everything up and you can sync everything up. So once we do that, we just go to our MIDI. Uh, let me load up a uh, drum kit, um, MPC documents, and then we can just make quick beat now. So have everything quantized, ready to go. Another track, let's do like a uh, kick. Oh, that thing is loud. That is loud. Let's try that. It's that simple. We just loaded in the sample and now we just made a beat that fast. Now the good thing about this is we can actually change the tempo of the song and change the pitch of the sample as well. So if say for instance we think that's too slow we can speed this up now that it's in warp function to 190. We can go all the way up to 100 if we want to. All right, 
right. And the good thing is, let's go back to audio. Say, for instance, um, we didn't like that key. We can shift the key up. Or we can shift the key down. That's the great thing about using the warp function in the MPC software. Okay, there it is. Tutorial's finished. As you can see, it is super easy to do, super easy to pitch it, super easy to time stretch it, all that good stuff. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please turn on those notifications so you'll know when I have another tutorial on the way. And as I always say, peace out.